what's up guys welcome to another playthrough of mage Knight. today we're going to be playing as krang we have uh wolf Hawk as the dummy player two reds and a blue in the source and we have the scouts the guardian golems and the magic familiars as our unit offer uh the advanced actions then are going to be training refreshing walk and chivalry and for our spell offer we have uh whirlwind tornado mist form veil of mist and restoration rebirth um, so we'll draw up to our hand limit of five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And we get Savage Harvesting, Determination, Rage, Tranquility, and Concentration. Um, I'm thinking here we go towards the Mage Tower, uh, see what's in there, and then maybe take that. Um, and if we don't like what's in there, we can go up towards the Keep. Uh, so I think I'm going to need planning um, to, just to increase the hand size limit. Uh, number two for the dummy player is Rethink, that's gone, um, and they are going to go first, so they go one, two, and three, it's a blue, they get one more, uh, over to us, I think I'm going to play Savage Harvesting for move two, probably discard Tranquility with that to get a green, um, yeah, we'll go with that, um, and that's going to get us there which is going to reveal okay so five physical attack poison and five armor um okay i think we'll end our turn there um and yeah that's gonna do it uh we'll draw another three because of planning one two and three and we get ruthless coercion swiftness and mana draw dummy player then one two and three it's a green they don't go again back to us I think here we will go for the, the Mage Tower. So we're going to play Swiftness, uh, Mana Draw sideways, Ruthless Coercion sideways. Uh, that's a total move of four, which is enough to get us in uh, and assault this Mage Tower. We'll lose one on the Reputation track. We can play Determination with a blue from the source for a move of five, or a block of five, sorry. So he's fully blocked. And then we can play Concentration with the green uh, along with Rage for an attack of six. That's enough to take him out. Uh, we'll get four fame one two three four that's a level up and we also get a spell as a reward uh, so uh, that is a black um we don't trigger planning so our hand limit will be five on the next turn we get one shield token um for our spell i think i'm going to take whirlwind here uh it's a pretty powerful spell um i was tempted by mist form because we do have quite a bit of terrain to uh to get through here but um yeah I'll, I'll go with whirlwind the new spell is going to be flame wall flame wave uh for our uh, level up then we are going to get a choice between um so uh, the top one is going to be spirit guides once a turn move one and you may add plus one to a block of any type in the block phase and then the bottom one is going to be um arcane disguise once a turn influence two or you may flip this token to ignore all effects from your position on the reputation track this turn. You may flip it back uh, on any turn to pay by paying a green mana. Um, I think given we uh, we had to discard Ruthless Coercion there, um, and we are on a Mage Tower, so we could actually recruit here. I'm going to take the Influence one. Um, so we'll go with that. And then the motivation one for Will Falk. Uh, for our advanced action, I think I'm going to take Chivalry. Uh, that's a pretty good card. Um, so, yeah, we'll go with that. And then the new one is Power of Crystals. Um, and, yes, yeah, so we will draw up to our hand limit of five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And we get Stamina, Stamina, March, Whirlwind, and Chivalry. Um, that's not good. Uh, having all that movement um so dummy player one two and three it's a red they don't go again back to us so i think i'm going to probably just move up here see what's in the keep and then uh, go from there i was hoping to get another some more influence but uh yeah we'll go with that so move two um and that is okay so elusive five uh physical attack on four divide uh three and six armor um I think we'll just end our turn there and hopefully we'll draw some more useful cards on the on the next one when, when we can trigger planning. So we have four, we'll draw two more. We get Promise and Crystallize. So no, <laughs> one, 
two and three it's a blue they get one more back to us i think i'm going to do something quite unusual here and play uh, march and stamina to move back to the uh the mage tower and then i'm going to play uh, promise for influence two user skill for influence four and then five six seven uh to get the guardian golems here um hated doing it but um rather than taking three wounds by going for the keep i think i'll uh, i'll do that but um yeah we'll try it um and so we'll drop to our hand limit of five so we get three more and we get swiftness improvisation and rage dummy player is going to declare end round on the next turn they only had two cards left back to us and i think here we're just going to have to play swiftness uh move two and then end our turn i think so a little bit of a i would say poor round there but um yeah um reroll the source then uh red and two gold so we'll keep the red and we will yep, reroll those it's a black and a green uh the unit offer gets refreshed and the new ones that we get are going to be peasants the utum crossbowmen and the savage monks um they're going to take training uh and the new advanced action is going to be pure magic uh they get a blue for mist form veil of mist um the spells advance and then the new one that we get is going to be space bending time bending um and we can shuffle up and go on to the next round okay so we can draw up to our hand limit of five so one two three four and five and we get stamina swiftness crystallized ruthless coercion and promise so quite a bit more influence there than i would like given i'm not actually in the keep yet um so yeah i'm kind of debating whether to go with preparation take the keep and then um and then move on from there or whether to go with something like midnight meditation and get rid of the influence cards and maybe crystallize and see what see what we draw the, the source isn't the best there so i think i will do uh, preparation um and i'm gonna take i think rage uh yeah rage um so uh it will mean we take some wounds here on the first turn but hopefully we can kind of kickstart uh, what we need to what we need to do here. But um, it felt like the first turn was a bit slow, um, or the first round. Sorry, uh, dummy player then is going to take number three. So they take mana search. Um, that's gone. They're going to go first, um, and they go with one, two, and three. It's a blue. They get two more. One and two. For us, I think I'm going to go into the keep here uh, so I can play stamina and swiftness for a move of four. That's uh, one minus one reputation. Uh, they're going to do um, five physical attack. And actually, we don't actually have to take any wounds here. So we can activate our uh, guardian golems for a fire block of four, play crystallize sideways for a block of one. That's a total block of five. He's fully blocked, means we need uh, three uh damage so we do rage and i think promise sideways for three um so that is plus three one uh two three so just one short of leveling up we do get one shield token um our hand limit will be one higher uh that is a blue um so we are drawing up to six cards now so one uh two three four five and six and we get determination savage harvesting chivalry improvisation and tranquility dummy player then one two and three it's a red they don't go again back to us i think here we will go with improvisation uh discard tranquility for a move of three so we'll explore here first and we get okay so it is tile number two um so there's an orc at the top there uh let's go face up and that's three physical attack poison and five armor um okay so we have one point of movement left here um and i think let's go with savage harvesting with a green from the source so move four um and plus the one that we didn't spend from here so that's the total move of five so we can go three or five uh we can engage this guy in combat and sorry i can actually discard that to get a red crystal to my inventory um 
as for, for the savage harvesting effect and then this guy is doing three physical attack we can assign it to our guardian golems who are physically resistant with three armor and then we can play attack three from chivalry and determination for an attack of two that's a total attack of five we get plus one on the reputation track and plus three for him so uh one two three so that is a level up um so we'll take our command token now uh re-roll this it's a gold um and then we are drawing up to our hand limit again which is five um so we get one two three four five and we get concentration rage stamina march and whirlwind dummy player one two and three it's a blue they get two more one two back to us and i think here let's go with stamina with the blue for move four uh, and march for move of two that gets three four five to explore here and it is tile number 14. um Okay, so there's a keep which is going face down. Um, and then we have spent three, four, five, and we had six points. So I get like, hmm, we could, uh, I think I'll wait, see what these two cards bring, and then uh, go from there because we have one, two, three more tiles to get out. Um, I mean, I could play concentration sideways here or maybe rage sideways um to get uh to get one more move uh, or we could try and go for the the keep on the next turn um i think i will actually play whirlwind sideways here for the extra point of movement that we need so we had three four five and we had six points all together so um yeah we'll play one more uh, to get uh, another tile out here and it is ooh, a nasty one tile 12. Um, okay and then the orc is going to be a summoner with four armor and um yeah four fame we get uh, an advanced action for the monastery is peaceful moment um that is a nasty nasty bit of terrain to try and get through here um because if we go up here we're gonna get um yeah we could get hemmed in by this mountain um but yeah let's end our turn there um that is a white uh, these are getting discarded and we can draw up to our hand limit so we get the remaining two and it is mana draw and swiftness dummy player then one two and three it's a blue they get two more and they're going to declare end of round the next turn back to us and i think here let's uh let's just play swiftness for move of two that'll get us next to the keep um i'm debating whether we take on this summoner here um if it's uh, one of the paralyzed brown enemies, we could be in a bit of trouble. Uh, we would probably lose our guardian golems or have to discard our whole hand here. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. Um, I think I'm not going to do it. Um, I'll wait here and see what's in the keep on the next turn. So we'll end it there. A um, bit of a frustrating round, to be honest. But um, yeah, we'll reroll the source. We get a gold, a red, and a white um the unit offer gets refreshed here uh and it's going to be um thugs the utum guardsmen and the foresters uh they are we're going to replace peaceful moment with uh stout resolve they take refreshing walk these advance and the new one is ritual attack um and then they are getting a green into their mentry uh, these advance and the new spell is going to be demolish disintegrate um, we can reveal what's in the keep because it's now the day and we're adjacent it is four physical attack uh, with four armor and then we are shuffling up and going on to the next round okay so we draw up to our hand limit of five so one two three four and five and we have uh, whirlwind ruthless coercion swiftness march and swiftness uh, i think i'm going to take a uh, great start here i kind of want to go into this maze here we have a bit of movement in our hand um could get a spell and then maybe we go for the keep after that um so yeah let's why don't we try that uh so i'll take great start we'll get two more we get rage and mana draw the dummy player then is going to take number uh, 
number one, so early bird is gone. Um, and yeah, they are going to go first. So one, two, and three. It's a red. They don't go again. Back to us. Okay, so we will go for uh, for our action. I think we're just going to go into this maze here. So we will pay uh, March for move two, Swiftness for move two. So we'll go for the spell, I think. Um, and yeah, we'll take uh, obviously our only unit in with us. And the brown enemy is going to be, okay, so three physical attacks of two each with ice resistance and six armor. I'm going to play, uh, use the white and the source. Target enemy does not attack this combat. And then I can use, uh, let's use mana draw uh, to be able to use a second die from the source. We'll use the red for attack of four and probably a guardian golems for an attack of two. Uh, so that is a total attack of six. That's enough to take him out. We get five fame. So one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, we get a shield token. We do get a reward as well, which is going to be a spell. Uh, these get re-rolled and it's green and white. Uh, we'll discard these. Uh, we're left with two cards in hand. We will get our spell here. Um, and I think I'm going to take a uh, flame wall flame wave. Um, these advance and the new spell that we get is going to be wings of wind, wings of night. We're also getting a choice of skill for the level up. And we get, um, okay, so Battle Frenzy, I think, is going to be the winner here. Um, it's, yeah, so that is just uh, once a turn attack two, or we can flip it to get attack four. If we rest, we can flip it back. Uh, so, yeah, there's no uh, no contest there, I don't think. Um, that is one of, I can't remember the name of it, uh, Will Fox skills for our... Um, for our advanced action, we have Power of Crystals, Pure Magic, or Ritual Attack. Neither of those I really like that much, but I think I'll just take Power of Crystals here. Uh, these advance, and the new one is going to be Decompose. Um, so we'll drop to our hand limit, and we're at two, so we get three more. One, two, and three. And we get Crystallize, Flame Wall, and Power of Crystals. Dummy player then, one two and three it's a green they get one more back to us and i think here we just go for the keep uh, so we'll play swiftness move into the keep uh, we lose a reputation for that um, and then we are going to play flame wolf with the red with the gold from the source um, for a fire block of seven and then we can play crystallized sideways uh, for a block of eight so he's fully blocked and then we can use our battle frenzy uh, for an attack of four so that is enough to take him out one two three fame uh, that's our second keep um, and then we are left with two cards in hand so i think i'll play power of crystals gain a crystal to your inventory of a basic color you do not already own uh, did we play promise yet because i'm gonna want some influence here we didn't um hmm let's go with so we're probably gonna want to get the Utam guardsman next which will cost six. Um, so we have two, four. Um, why don't we go with a ch -ch -ch white? So yeah, we'll take a white. Um, this gets re-rolled. It is a white. Dang. Um, left with one in hand. Our hand limit is now five plus two is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we get stamina, concentration, uh, savage harvesting promise tranquility and chivalry dummy player one two and three it's a green they get one more back to us and i think here let's go with stamina for a move of two to explore here uh, so let me just move this down a bit and we get okay tile number where is it five um so yeah we have another monastery and that is going to be blood rage Ooh, that's the that's quite appealing there actually um, and then the uh, orc is going to be three physical attack at four divide and three armor um, and then i think i'm probably going to want to let's recruit here so we will use a white in the source for influence of four plus this for influence of two that's an influence of six it's enough to get the utum guardsman here uh, they have five and we're at minus one um, do i want to discard any of these i think i'm okay um so yeah we will uh, re-roll this and it is a blue um we are one two three four five uh, we get two more six and seven 
and we get determination and stamina dummy player then one two and three it's a white they get two more one two back to us i think here let's go with uh savage harvesting for a move of two uh we will also play tranquility sideways for a move of three and we'll discard i think we probably discard um ruthless coercion here uh to get a red crystal to our inventory um using savage harvesting and then uh, yeah because we moved it or used the basic effect um and then that's going to get us there uh so we'll on the blue crystal and we challenge this guy uh we will block him with our block four and then we can use chivalry with the white from the source for an attack of four uh, reputation plus one and fame plus one for each enemy defeated by this attack so we're going to get um plus two reputation because it's a rampaging enemy and then we're getting two plus one uh so three fame so one two three um and we end on a blue mine so we can take a blue into our inventory this gets re-rolled it's a red uh we discard all of these um and then we're left with these three in hand we're still next to our keep so we draw up our last two cards as improvisation and rage dummy player then one and two they're going to declare end of round in the next turn back to us so I'm wondering whether we go to the monastery and try and pick up Blood Rage or whether we uh, try and get a core tile out in the board uh, this turn. I think I'm kind of inclined to try and get the core tile. So I'll go with the green for concentration with stamina for a move of six. Uh, that gets us two, four. Uh, we can spend another two here. Uh, so we get, okay, so tile number four. Uh, we're right next to the village. Um, or it goes face up and it's going to be three physical attack uh four to fight and three armor and then the mage tower is going to be uh face down in the desert um so we'll just move this a little bit um and then i can play another two cards sideways to get a core tile out uh, or just play improvisation uh for a move of three um and we get so the green city uh that is going to be like that and we're right next to an orc uh so that orc is going to be uh three physical attack brutal fire and ice resistance unfortified and five armor and then the other orc is going to be four physical attack and three armor and the level seven sit green city is going to be uh a gray two brown and a white one gray two brown and a white and any physical attack in here is going to be poisonous um so we will leave that there um and i think um i think we're gonna have to leave it there um so that will be the end of the round um yeah so we'll reroll the source and it's going to be white uh, blue and red um the unit offer gets refreshed and we do have the core unit our tiles out so we're getting elite units this turn uh, and we get uh, catapults uh the utum swordsman and then the heroes so nothing that can be uh, got in a monastery unfortunately um we're going to replace the two monastery advanced actions with uh, crushing bolt and song of wind uh, they're going to take pure magic these advance and the new one is going to be diplomacy um, and they're going to take a blue into their inventory these advance and the new one is going to be chill lethal chill uh, let's ready our units and our battle frenzy and shuffle up for the next round okay so we draw up to our hand limit of five so one two three four and five and we get tranquility promise swiftness rage and crystallize I think I'm going to take long night here um, and hopefully we can go first uh, number one oh, no we don't we don't um, okay so they're gonna go first unfortunately uh, one two and three it's a white they get two more one and two for us I think I'm gonna take crushing bolt because we're at the monastery I'm gonna play promise with the white and our skill for two that's a total influence of um, of six and in the monastery just one moment 
uh, yeah, we're at six influence. So uh, let's take the crushing bolt here, uh, re-roll this, and it is a gold. Um, yeah, let's try that. Um, so we have four, we get one more, and it is, of course, crushing bolt, dummy player, one, two, and three. It's a green, they get one more, back to us. And I think let's uh, let's take on this orc here. Um, so we can um, we could go with uh, our Udum Guardsman for a block of four. So he's fully blocked. We can use plus two attack there. Uh, two there is four, and then that sideways is five. Um, then we could play Crushing Ball for a green to our inventory, um, and probably crystallize with the blue for a um let's take a white um and then we'll be left with tranquility in hand uh sorry that is plus one reputation plus three fame so one two three we do get a level up uh finally uh re-roll this it is a blue um so that is over there uh kind of thinking we come back down to the refugee camp here and maybe try and get the catapults um we could alternatively try and get the heroes, but I think I prefer the catapults. Uh, so we're left with that, and we are drawing up to um, six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we get Rage, Power of Crystals, Mana Draw, Flame Wall, and Swiftness. Dummy player, one, two, and three. It's a white, they get two more, one and two. I think here we probably want to use uh, the green with Tranquility to draw two more cards. So we'll get uh, Whirlwind and Ruthless Coercion. Um, and then, okay, so I think we will play Power of Crystals with the blue for a move of four. Uh, we'll play Swiftness for a move of two. That gets two, three, four, five. We are going to engage this guy in combat. Um, and I think we will use a white from our inventory for target enemy does not attack. Um, and then we can use our attack two from Guardian Golems and attack two from Rage for an attack of four. That gets us plus one reputation and plus four fame. So one, two, three, four. Um, and we'll end our turn there. White and green are discarded. Uh, that gets re-rolled. It's green. Uh, we're left with three cards in hand. Uh, these, oh, these get discarded as well. Um, and then, yeah, we'll discard those. And we are next to our keep now. So we do have uh, two keeps. Uh, so our hand limit is now eight. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we get chivalry, concentration, stamina, determination, and stamina. Dummy player then. One, two, and three. It's a blue. They get three more. They're going to declare in a round in the next turn. Back to us. I think here we want the catapult, so we'll go with the red from the source for influence of six, reputation minus one. You may ready a level one or and two units you control by paying two influence per level of unit. So I don't want to ready any units here, but I am going to, I think, um, recruit the catapults here. So we're at plus one uh, on the reputation, plus six is seven, eight, nine, and then I can play stamina, I think. Um, Will I play stamina sideways? Uh, yeah, let's go with the stamina sideways. So that's a total influence of 10, enough to get the catapults um, because they cost nine plus one because they're in a refugee camp. Um, so yeah, we're one, two, three, four, five, six. We do lose one reputation for using ruthless coercion. This gets re-rolled, it's a white. Um, and then we are one, two, three, four, five, six. We get two more. And they are going to be improvisation in March. Dummy player declares end of round and it's back to us. And I think here, um, I think I'm going to go back up to the monastery and burn it down. Um, so let's go with stamina in March for move of four. So that gets us onto the monastery. We lose three reputation, one, two, three. Uh, we draw purple enemy and it is a summoner with physical resistance and three armor. So they're going to, I don't have a way to stop them attacking unfortunately so they're going to draw a brown enemy and we get uh so uh, four physical attack swiftness assassination poison fire resistance and six armor um okay so we can use our flame wall uh with a red 
for a fire block of seven and then we can play determination for a block of two that's a total block of nine which is enough to block him uh, so he goes away and then we need six points of attack we can get four there and we can use that with a white from the source for an attack of four uh, and reputation plus one and fame plus one for each enemy defeated by this attack so we're going to get reputation plus one because so we've done eight points of attack which is more than enough inefficient attack to to kill him uh, so we get um, plus one reputation um, and then we get fame plus one for each enemy so we get four plus one is five and we go up one two three four five uh, we are going to get an artifact. We're left with three cards in hand here. And the one we didn't get to was Savage Harvesting. Uh, we didn't get to use Long Night, unfortunately. But let's tidy this up and then we can get our reward. Uh, we get a shield token on the, the monastery there. Um, and our reward is going to be an artifact. And we have a choice between Druidic Staff and Banner of Fortitude. Um, I think I'm going to take Druidic Staff. That could be very good for moving. Uh, so we could actually get over to the Magical Glade or maybe to the village. Um, so yeah, let's go with a Druidic Staff. That gets put back there. Uh, that should be gone. Uh, that is the end of the round. So we are re-roll the source. And it is green, two green and a black. Uh, so that's fine. Um, units then. Um, we only have... Our, two elite units are going to be ice golems uh the first regular shock troops and then the second elite is going to be the amatep gunners um okay so we have one monastery left on the board so we're only replacing one and it is mountain lore they take ritual attack these advance and the new one is going to be firebolt uh, so if we could get a level up that would be very very appealing they're going to get a red for demolish disintegrate um and the spells advance and the new one we get is going to be mana bolt mana thunderbolt we can ready our uh, units and our skills and shuffle up and go on to the next round okay so we can draw up to our hand in a limit of six so one two three four five and six and we get rage march concentration swiftness and ruth or one two three yeah, uh, Ruthless Coercion and Power of Crystals. Uh, I think I'm just going to take Mana Steel here to go first. Um, yeah, they take uh, the right moment. Um, so we can take a Mana and put it on that card. Um, let's go with a green. That's the only one we can, really. Um, okay, so for our turn, we're going to go with uh, the green from the stores for a move of four. That gets us next to the city. We can reveal what's in here. It's five coal fire, paralyze, assassination, fire and ice resistance, and eight armor. Uh, four coal fire, um, elusive arcane immunity, four and eight armor. Five physical attack, um, four armor with physical resistance, and then three and two physical attack, uh, swiftness, and five armor. And all of that physical attack is going to be poisonous. Uh, I think we end our turn there um well let's play power of crystals first so we can get a green into our inventory because we that's the only color we don't have um okay so we have one two three four left in hand uh that is a red um and we draw two more so crystallize and druidic staff dummy player then one two and three it's a green they get one more back to us and I think here, let's go with Druidic Staff. We'll discard Swiftness to move two reveal spaces. So we can move over to the village here. Uh, we can play Crystallize with a red from the source for a red to our inventory. Um, and then I think I'll hold on to, I probably want to let go of Ruthless Coercion here, actually. Um, so we'll discard that. Uh, that's a blue. Um, we are drawing up to our hand limits of so four more. One, two, three, and four, and we get improvisation, stamina, determination, and chivalry. Dummy player then one, two, and three. It's a red. They get one more back to us. And I think here we just take on this orc. Um, so he's gonna do four physical attack. I'll block with rage and determination. And then 
um, we can use our skill for an attack of two and improvisation for an attack of three. Um, just wondering whether we should, yeah, we should probably, before we take him on, let's use stamina with the blue from the source to move four. So we'll ex explore here first. And it's not a city tile. Um, so yeah, that is a mage tower and there is a tomb there. Uh, the ruins goes face up in the day. It's three red uh, for seven fame. The mage tower is going face down. And then we can use our other two points of movement here. Um, so we can explore and it's the white city. Uh, we're right next to a keep. Uh, there's a draconum as well. Uh, that goes face up and it's going to be summoner with physical resistance, arcane immunity and eight armor. The keep goes face up because we're adjacent to it and it is so three physical attack, uh, doubly fortified and seven armor. And then the white city at level 10 is going to be um, two gray and three white enemies. Uh, so two gray and three white. So one, two, three. Um, and all of these are going to have armor of plus one. Um, so we will end, or sorry, we um, killed this guy with the, using the combination we, we did earlier. So we're getting plus one reputation, plus two fame. That's a level up. Uh, this gets re-rolled. It's a green. Uh, we are then going to, yeah, we'll level up. So we'll get a skill and we have a choice between, okay, so... These are, um, the top one is regenerate, pay mana of any color and throw away a wound from your hand. If you used red mana to do this, or you have the least fame not tied, then also draw a card. And then the bottom one is going to be uh, curse, uh, either reduce one attack of an enemy by one or reduce armor of one enemy by one to a minimum of one you cannot use the skill on a four divine enemy in the range and siege attack phase i think i'm going to go for a curse here uh, being able to reduce the the armor will be uh, hopefully quite useful or sorry not yeah the armor or the attack um the uh, wolf hawk's common one and then i'm going to take firebolt here um yeah for advanced action and the new one is going to be agility um and so we have two cards here. Uh, we draw up to our hand in of six. So two, three, four, five, and six. And we get Promise, Savage Harvesting, Stamina, and Firebolt. Dummy player then. One, two, and three. It's a white. They get two more. One and two. Back to us. I think I'm going to plunder the village here. So we'll lose a reputation. We get Mana Draw and rage and i think for our turn i'm just going to drop promise uh yeah we'll end it there um and although we could maybe go for the keep here um i actually think i might might do that i might go for the keep uh so we'll play let's go with savage harvesting for a move of four um we could uh discard a card here to get a crystal but i don't think i will so we'll move in um we're gonna lose one reputation um and then yeah we're going to assign three points of physical attack to our guardian golems then we're going to use two attack there let's use let's use rage for attack of two that's a total attack of four um i mean five we could power a rage here with uh red so yeah let's go with that so four five six and promise sideways for seven so that's uh one two three fame uh that is our third keep so our hand limit will be nine now um and that mage shower should be revealed and it is a summoner with physical resistance and three armor uh we also reveal what's in the white city uh four coal fire uh brutal um poison physical resistance eight armor five physical all three resistances doubly fortified seven armor 11 physical um not uh, not fortified arcane immunity 10 armor five uh physical attack elusive unfortified and two physical attack um physical resistance and five armor and any armor there is going to be plus one uh so yeah that is that uh so we're left with uh one two three four five in hand 
Uh, we re-roll that. It's a black. Oh, no. Uh, so we have two black in the source and a green. Um, oh, no. Uh, so five. Uh, we're going to draw four more. So one, two, three, and four. And we get Flame Wall, Whirlwind, Crushing Bolt, Tranquility. Dummy player then. One, two, and three. It's a blue. They get three more. One, two, and three. Back to us. So I think here, let's play Tranquility uh, to get our final card. And it is Swiftness. Okay. Um, okay, so um, I think we will go with Concentration with the green from the source, uh, along with Stamina for a move of six, uh, plus Swiftness for a move of eight. That gets us into the green city. We lose one reputation. These are the four enemies. Um, and so we are going to... Range and Siege attack phase, I'm going to use a blue for my inventory for a Siege Ice attack of 5, which is enough to take him out in the Range and Siege attack phase. Um, that's all I'm going to do in the Range and Siege attack phase. I'm going to use Mana Draw with a white for my inventory, take a black and set it to white. I will get two white tokens for that. Um, and I'm going to use one of those with Whirlwind. Uh, so target enemy does not attack this combat. I'm going to choose him. Uh, and then I can use the white later in the round, uh, or the turn, sorry. And then I'm going to play uh, Fireblock 7 with Flame Wall and F Firebolt sideways for a Fireblock of 8. Uh, or sorry, a block of 8, uh, which is enough inefficient block to block him. So his armor is now down to 4. I'm going to assign 3 points of damp physical attack from him to our Guardian Golems who are physically resistant. I'm going to take one wound to hand and one wound to discard for the other uh, two points. So one wound to hand, one wound to discard. Uh, and then we go on to the attack phase. Uh, we can use our Battle Frenzy for four attack to take out him. His armor is now down to four. We can use our Curse skill to reduce his um, armor by one. So he's down to seven and he's five. So that's a total of 12 attack we need. We can use our Guardian Golems for two, uh, our Utum Guardsman for two. Um, our sh uh, crushing bolt for three, so that's two, four, five, six, seven, and chivalry for six is thirteen. Uh, so that's enough uh, physical attack. None, of, neither of those are physically resistant. So just uh, to recap, we used the green from the source, uh, moved in with our uh, concentration, stamina, and swiftness for a move of uh, eight. Uh, we lost our reputation. Um, we played uh, Mana Draw with a white from our inventory, got a w two white tokens, one used with Whirlwind. Um, and sorry, in the Rage of Siege attack phase, we used a blue for Siege Ice Attack of five, which was enough to take him out. He's physically resistant, um, but not ice resistant. Um, Whirlwind targeted him, so he did not attack. And then this guy was successfully blocked with Flame Wall and Firebolt. Um, and then Battle Frenzy killed him in the attack phase. Uh, we used Chivalry for an attack of 6, plus Crushing Bolt for 3 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, to take out those two uh, after reducing. Um, although, if we, we have enough attack to take them out uh, at full armor, so we could actually reduce um, someone's attack here by 1. Um, but I don't think that's going to, to actually make a difference because we have no cards in hand anyway. Um, so yeah, that is um, all for that combat. We will tidy this, these up. So green and white get discarded. Um, we're going to um, collect our fame later. Uh, white and blue. This white does not get re-rolled. Um, then we had... Uh, the green here does, uh, so that's a white. Um, we're left with one wound in hand. We are going to draw no cards because we don't have any unless we level up enough. Um, so let's see what we get in terms of our fame. So 9 plus 4 is 13, plus 5 is 18, plus 4 is 22, and we do lose an extra reputation. So we get uh, 38, 48, 58, 60. Uh, so not enough, unfortunately, to level up there. Uh, we do, or sorry, level up twice. We do get another uh, command token though. Um, and we get four shield tokens on that city. So one, two, three, four. Uh, we're left with one wound in hand. 
uh, I think we'll just end it there. Um, yeah, we'll end it there. Um, so we can reroll the source and it is going to be red, black and white. So there is a black there um, for one of our spells at least. Um, units then are getting refreshed and we are getting two more elite units and one regular. So the first elite is going to be the Delphana Masters. Uh, the first regular is going to be Guardian Golems. And then the second elite is going to be the Amatev Gunners. Um, the dummy player uh, is going to get decomposed into their deck, but first we replace Mountain Lore with uh, Chilling Stare. They take decompose, these advance, and the new one is going to be Steady Tempo. Um, and then they get a white for Wings of Wind, Wings of Night. These advance, and the new one we get is going to be Charm Possess. Um, we're ready these and our skill and we can shuffle up and go on to the next round. Okay, so we can draw up to our hand limit of 6 plus 2 for our city. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And we get uh, Ruthless Coercion, Savage Harvesting, Rage, Improvisation, Stamina, March, A Wound and Whirlwind. For our tactic then, uh, we can either go with Sparing Power or Midnight Meditation. I think I'm going to go with uh, sparing power here. Um, I do feel like we're in a bit of trouble here because of our mana situation. Um, but yeah, let's see. We'll see if we can pull it out. Uh, so dummy player is oh, three more. So one, two, and three. We'll spare power. Uh, we are going to use the red in the source with ruthless coercion for influence of six. Uh, we can use seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, and then improvisation, discarding, I think, stamina uh, for influence of three. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Less or two on the reputation track, and we can get the Delvana Masters here. That could prove to be a, uh, a poor decision given how mana intensive it is. But um, yeah, we'll we'll see if uh, see if we can make it work. Uh, that's a red. Um, so. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, determination, seven, swiftness, eight, mana draw, uh, one, two, and three. It's a blue, so three more, one, two, and three. They are not, they're going very fast here. Um, so we'll spare power. Um, okay. And I think here, let's go with savage harvesting for move two, uh, march for move two. Um, and rage sideways for move of one we can discard swiftness for a white to our inventory for savage harvesting and that gets us into the village um, and yeah we will end our turn there those get discarded we're now next to our keep so our hand limit is three higher so one two three four um, five six seven eight and nine and we get a firebolt tranquility a wound flame wall uh, Druidic Staff and Stamina, uh, Dummy Player then, one, two and three, it's a red, they get one more, we're going to spare power, um, okay, and I think here let's break Druidic Staff and we will choose to move to Reveal Spaces, uh, so we'll move there uh, and then we are going to take, um, I think we probably want to take two white crystals into our inventory, um, yeah, we'll try that. Um, although, yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here in hand. Um, hmm. And we can also probably play Tranquility and heal one of the wounds from our hand. So, yeah, we will end with one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we're on our keep. So Druidic Staff uh, goes away. Um, and we are drawing two, six, seven, uh, two more. So one uh, for Crushing Bolt and the second Power of Crystals. Dummy player then, one, two, and three. It's a green, they get one more. We'll spare power here. Um, and then I think we will just play Power of Crystals to take a green into our inventory. 
we'll end our turn there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll draw one more, and it is crystallized. Dummy player is going to declare end of round in the next turn. Uh, we will spare power, and then I think we will play crystallize with a red. Ooh, yeah, do we want the red though? Yeah, I think we kind of have to. So we'll take a red into our inventory. Um, and yeah, we'll end our turn there. This gets re-rolled. It is a gold. Oh, um, oh no. Okay, so they're bearing end of brand. We are going to take our uh, sparing power and we have concentration, chivalry, promise, rage, and swiftness. Okay. Okay, so we can uh, go for it here with stamina. We'll move into the city. Uh, these are the five enemies. Uh, we're gonna lose one reputation for assaulting fortified site. Um, and I think here, first of all, let's go with, um, so we have mana draw. Uh, we have three white crystals. We are going to use one white crystal on the Delfana masters for target enemy loses all fortifications and resistances. We're going to target this guy so he's no longer fortified and no longer has any of his resistances um and then we can use the another white on mana draw to take a gold and set it to red so that's going to give us two red tokens um and then so we can play flame wall with a red from our inventory uh, along with a black um so we're gonna uh, have flame wave fire attack of five that's increased by two for each uh enemy that we're facing we're facing five enemies uh, so we're gonna have a uh, fire attack of 15. um we have a green here we're going to armor of target enemy is reduced by five to a minimum of one um and i think we also want to play our concentration uh, to get a blue mana token and we're going to use that with target enemy does not attack so uh, we haven't actually chosen which enemy gets armor minus five but target enemy does not attack we're going to use on this guy so he is not attacking then we can play whirlwind um, with the other white for target enemy does not attack uh, and i think i'm going to choose this guy so he's not attacking either so these two are not attacking uh, this guy is no longer fortified and no longer has any resistances. Um, we can use one of the reds for target enemy is destroyed if blocked. And we are going to choose this guy. So he is going to be destroyed if we successfully block him. Um, and then the green we can use to reduce. Um, uh, we're going to reduce his armor by five. So he has eight armor. Uh, so we'll reduce it by five. So he is now down to three armor uh, and no longer fortified, no longer has any of his resistances. He's not attacking. We need to block him and then he will be destroyed. Uh, so that is all four of the Delfana Master's abilities already used. Um, so we can then go on to the, um, we're not going to do anything in the range of siege attack phase. Um, and we can go on to the um, block phase. And we are going to use, I think, our guardian golems for a block of two. Let's use uh, determination for a block of two and promise sideways for a block of one. So that's a total block of five, which is enough to block this guy. So he's going to be destroyed um, in the attack phase because he was successfully blocked. Um, and then he's not attacking. He's not attacking. Uh, this guy, we're going to assign his two points of physical attack to, I guess, our guardian golems uh, who have three armor um so we take no wounds from him this guy is doing 11 physical attack so we're going to absorb three points of that with our physically resistant uh delfana master so that takes it down to uh eight and then he's gonna do uh take another three points that takes it down to five so they take one wound for that and then we're going to assign um i think the um Let's take two wounds into our hand um, for the remaining points of damage from him. So that is everything taken care of in the assigned damage phase. We go on to the attack phase. We have, uh, so we're facing, well, this guy is dead because um, 
yeah, use the Delfana Master's ability, red ability, to uh, to uh, kill him because he was successfully blocked. We now are facing one, two, three, four enemies. We get fire attack of five plus eight, uh, so two for each enemy. So that's a total fire attack of 13. We can use this skill to reduce his armor from nine down to eight. Um, and then we can uh, add, group this guy in with him. So he is eight plus six is 14. Uh, we have uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we need one more point of attack um, or two points of inefficient attack. Um, and I think I'll use my Utum Guardsman for that. So uh, that's fire attack, which is efficient against their physical resistance. So they have um, nine less one from our skill is eight armor uh, plus six because of the white city bonus. So that's 14. Uh, we are getting 13 from um, our flame wave um, and two inefficient attack from our Utum Guardsman. So that's both of those guys dead. Um, and then we just have these two left here. Um, so he has 11 armor, he has 8 less 5, um, so he is down to 3 armor. None of them are resistant, so we need a total of 14 points of physical attack. Uh, we can activate our catapults for a siege or a fire attack of 5. Uh, we can use um, this skill here for 4, that's 9, total of 9. And then we can use 10, 11, 12 uh, for chivalry. And then um, we can use, I guess, one card, or no, we'll use swiftness sideways. Uh, so that's um, four plus five is nine. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. They have 11 plus um, a three, so 14. And then we can play, uh, I guess, firebolt sideways as well for 14 attack. That's enough to kill all of the enemies in the city. So just to recap, we moved in with uh, our stamina. Uh, we played motivation or uh, concentration to get a blue. Um, we then used our mana draw to get two reds. Uh, we had three whites in our inventory. We used one of those whites on this guy to uh, target enemy loses all fortifications and resistances. We used the blue to target uh, this guy, so he did not attack. Uh, one of our other whites was used with, with whirlwind for him so he was not attacking either um, and then we used a red for target enemy is destroyed if blocked that's this guy and then the final guy here is um yeah we let we let him be so uh, he he was this, his damage was assigned to the guardian golems um and we took wounds from him so we wounded our delfana masters who are physically resistant that took it down to eight uh, and then five which gave them the wound uh, so 11, 10, 9, 8, and then another three points off to wound them. That's down to five. We took two wounds into hand because our armor is four. Um, and that is all for the assigned damage phase. Um, because this guy was blocked by determination and our guardian golems and promise, he was destroyed. Um, and then we used our skill to reduce uh, this guy's armor. Uh, or sorry, no, we didn't. We played Flame Wall, Flame Wave, uh, red and black. Uh, so we got five plus eight because we were facing four enemies. That's a total of 13 fire attack, uh, which was efficient against him and him. Uh, we reduced his armor from nine down to eight using our skill. And then we had six there. That's a total of 14 that we need. We had 13 efficient and two inefficient. So both of those guys were dead. Um, and then we use the green ability in the uh, earlier in the turn to reduce his armor down from eight to three. Uh, so we needed a total of 14 physical attack, which we got by our battle frenzy skill for four. Um, five here is nine, 10, 11, 12 from chivalry, and 13, 14 from those two. So that is all five dead. Uh, we can tidy these up. Um, we would have one well the dummy players already declared end of round so there is no more turn um and yeah we are just going to take our fame then uh, so we get three plus eight is 11 plus eight is 19 plus eight is 27 plus four is 31 
So we go from 60, 70, 91. Um, so that would be two level ups. Uh, we would get a skill um, and it doesn't really matter uh, which we choose. Uh, we get another advanced action. Um, yeah, we take that and then that would be the end. Uh, so let me tidy up here and then I can show you the final deck that I had. So we had uh, Flame Wall, Flame Wave and Whirlwind Tornado. We had these three wounds in hand and one on our um, Delphana Masters. Uh, we had uh, Chivalry, Crushing Bolt, Diplomacy, Firebolt and Power of Crystals as our advanced actions. Um, so yeah, that is the game. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, as always, happy to, to discuss uh, anything you would have done differently. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for joining and hope you can join again next time.